We feather our way through the first sector. All people cutting corners. Seems we've turned on the Tiamat Mardu AI for this race. What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video today. We're racing around Istanbul Park in Turkey and we're doing so with the white bull livery. Look at how good it looks. Um, I've seen quite a few people say they love it and a few people say that they hate it, surprisingly. Um, too much surprise to you guys, I'm part of the love it gang. So um, let me know down in the comments whether you love or hate this uh, design. Personally, I think it, it looks amazing. It's, it's really good to see Red Bull change up their liveries, which is really, really cool to see. And also, this is going to be in the F1 2021 game next week, apparently. So keep an eye out for that. Very exciting stuff because it means that we're probably going to see more special one-off liveries in the future on the F1 game. So that's really sick. More of that, please, Codemasters. But anyway, uh, we're throwing ourselves into a quick race around here. And um, yeah, hopefully we're going to get this all done in one take. I won't blow up or blow anyone else up. That's, that's going to be the aim for this video. So um, yeah, we'll see. It is a circuit I know. I actually know this circuit. Uh, unlike the guitar circuit uh, video we did last week where that was a real struggle just to get around But I've got high hopes for this one. This is gonna be a good one. Leave a like and subscribe and let's get into a Quick little race here in Turkey. So uh, we're jumping straight into the race. No practice I mean I have practiced a couple laps, but that's about as good as it's gonna get from me uh, car setup wise uh, There is a problem because I'm running with the 2020 F1 car, and I can only go C4 as the softest compound. The 2021 cars can go to C5. But I have more downforce, so there's going to be some uh, interesting comparisons to make. You might also notice there's a safety car off in the in the distance. But Maylander, uh, you know, he, he's been sitting on the sidelines too long. He wants to get involved, and so we've let him play today. Anyway, with that said, let's get this underway. Here we go, 22 cars on the grid, one safety car and one 2020 Formula 1 car and we are underway. Goodbye Bert, <laughs> we'll see you next lap. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so we were quite lucky that uh, Bert Maylander was already out on the circuit and was able to deploy a very quick safety car. Race restart, in fact, would you know? Um, so we're going again, luckily. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's have a clean start this time. I'm actually going to use my brain at turn one for a change. Not get distracted by safety cars and the like. Nice and calm into turn one. A few people cutting the corner into there, which is interesting. I got glued to the hearse for the second time. We are through turn one. How long will it take for us to catch the safety car? That is the question. We feather our way through the first sector. More people cutting corners. Seems we've turned on the Tiamat Mardu AI for this race. Absolutely love this circuit. Go play it on the old F1 games if you haven't already. It's on F1 2010, F1 2011. Problem is, you're going to need the Xbox 360 or a PS3 to play it, or if you've got PC, you can also play it on Steam, but it's a little bit weird. You can't do a full-on career mode because of Windows Live games or whatever it is. Sorry about the squeeze there, mate. <laughs> uh, we're through for P17. The Red Bull family is squabbling a little bit. Civil War, as Ara would like to say. But we got through... Okay, we nearly got through the first lap. Hopefully we've got the pace to march on with this from here on out. There's some... Okay, I, don't know. I, th I honestly thought there was a crash here. Yeah, yeah, we're going so slow and they're all trying to avoid. But no, they're just a bit rubbish through that corner, so that's good to know for next time by. Oh, around the outside. Hello, that's the biggest advantage for us versus the 2021 cars. I've noticed this 2020 car is a little bit easier to drive than the current car. Can we sneak up the inside? No. 
Whoa. And we spun anyway. Damn it. Here we go then, guys. Third time's the charm. Up the middle. Absolutely up the middle. Oh wow. That has worked really well. I think we've already progressed more than what we did in the first attempt and the second attempt combined. Yes. Life is a lot happier when you make things work for you on lap one. This is what I need to do in co op. I just got glued to someone again. This will be the last attempt. This is going to be the last one. No matter what happens, we're going to roll with it. We're either going to win or we'll go out in a blaze of glory. No in between. I don't know. I keep forgetting if I've got DRS open and I don't want to fly through here with DRS open. And that is a quick fire way to end the video. Yeah, nice run. Nice run. My mouse keeps popping up. Hopefully that won't be a thing now. In the slipstream of... Oh, is that Sebastian Vettel? We don't want to be going side by side with Seb here. Fans from 2010 will know what I'm talking about. Oh, he's steamed in there and he's demolished the bollard of the process. Still side by side. There's the bollard. It's rejoined. <laughs> Someone give that bollard a three second time penalty. Uh, creative interpretation of track limits if ever I've seen one. And a big yeet into turn one. Eighth place! What a start! So while well, these guys are squabbling and that's going to invite me into the party. Bob McLaren diving in too deep. I'm not going to get a great exit. That's why they say slow in, fast out my friend. Lots of room, lots of room, lots of room. Wow, look at the overspeed now. Here we go. Outside. That's what I fancy. And would you look at that? We have a regular Red Bull. Yucky. I'll tell you what, they've got some pace though. They've got some pace in a straight line. For this latest run, of, I have increased the downforce. Where are you going? Where are you going as well? Conrad's out of the Grand Prix. I don't know who that is. It's P5. Esteban Ocon's out too. The guy from Cat in the Hat and Esteban Ocon have, have clashed here on the Turkish Grand Prix. Things I never thought I'd say in my YouTube career. This car is so stable. This car is... Really stable. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the limits with throttle at points that I just wouldn't be able to get away with on the, on the new car. Oh, it's like traction's enabled. It's definitely not. Can we get underneath? Oh no! 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 I overcorrected. Massive overcorrection from me there. We only have 10% damage applied. So, we can just bounce off the barrier and <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Wonder what that's going to do for the rear stability now. Down to eight. Again, we fight with Seb. This looks familiar. Job done. Oh. We've mugged him. Norris has been mugged. I don't know who you think is going to win the uh, the Turkish Grand Prix this weekend. I haven't seen practice. I've only seen stuff on Twitter. Um, but apparently the Ferraris look really strong. Oh! <laughs> it's the safety car. Safety car deployed, lads. This is not a Codemasters glitch. That is intentional. The rolling... Chicane to spice up the entertainment in Formula One has arrived. Maybe that's an idea for next year. 
I rate that better than seven sprint races for 2022. Okay, here we go. The problem was last lap is, um, yes, I tried to dodge wherever it was at that part of the racetrack. I had the DRS open and the rear end just did not like that. Oh, Mercedes and, and Red Bull coming together. Who was that? Oh, it was Hamilton. Hamilton and Verstappen have come together at the hairpin. These two have come together a few times this season. And uh, once again, <laughs> it's happened. Imagine if this weekend it genuinely happens at that spot. Here we go for the replay. Hamilton going defensive and then at the last second. Doesn't even go for a dive bomb. Hamilton goes a little bit slow. Verstappen goes into the back of him. And um, the weird physics of this game, when you make car contact, the cars lose all of their weight and they just spin. So, that's a yikes. I am P2. And guess who's leading? Daniel Ricciardo! I wish I had Jeff right now. Oh, Hamilton's out. I wish I had Jeff right now to tell me what the gap is to... Ricardo. I could just use my eyes and look at the bottom bottom left, but that's too hard. Come on then. Two laps to go. Let's catch this laggy Aussie. See if we can ride on board for the whole lap as well. Give you guys a, a somewhat competitive lap around here. I'm no Yano up here, but I'll do my best. Hear those tires squealing. They are not happy. They are overheating massively. Down into here. This is a real bravery corner. I, I love it. You can use the camber to really chuck it in and it slows you down. Very much confidence inspiring through here. One of the best corners in Formula One. Oh. That's, uh, that's really, really cool. I don't want to imagine the amount of forces that are going through the driver's necks when they go through there. Anyway, down the straight. Great for overtaking, great for slipstreaming. We are still no closer to Daniel Ricciardo. Oh, massive lockup. Time to save it though. Tip the apex of the last two corners. Leader's on the last lap now. Too far up the road. Oh, we got a fuel warning. Yellow light is on. Are we going to get to the end of the Grand Prix on this fuel load? I hope so. Because I started off with 30 litres worth of fuel. That's what the game gave me. But I took some out. I think I lowered it to 22 or maybe even 20 litres worth of fuel. There's the safety car. That would be nice to save me in this race. Oh, get out of the way. Sorry. That's one way to get the safety car out of your way. Red flag? No, we're fine. Sorry for yeeting you, Bert Maylander. Here's Karma. He's gonna bite me in the arse here. Ricardo's only a few seconds up the road now. Provided we have the fuel, all we need is another lap or two, and we'd probably be on him. We are significantly faster. Oh, burnt out. I'm so sorry, man. He's going to come looking for me after the race. He's going to meet me in a car park somewhere. Into the last couple corners. There goes Ricardo. He's going to win his second race in 2021 for the McLaren team. And we're going to get home on fumes in the White Bull. P2. Oh, it's nice. It's nice to actually get a race in an Assetto Corsa and not completely bottle it. Although some bottling was had today. But, there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you need to see plenty more racing game content. Let me know what more Assetto Corsa content you want to see in the future. And I'll see you next time.